Hello everybody, I truly hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where together we're going to be jumping straight into the Bitcoin chart where boy oh boy do I have a absolutely brilliant video for you today. I truly know you're going to absolutely love it. I'm going to love presenting this one to you today because I am falling totally in love with the current range that we are within. The technicals are just absolutely perfect for myself as a as a ooh, as a trader, just I'm looking forward to sharing with you today the information of the past few days that we've been trading and then looking ahead to the weekend and the week to come, the levels that we're ready and waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, here at Chart Champions, I'm giving you all of the information, all of the information ahead of time that you need to know to successfully trade Bitcoin alongside us. Because here at CC Pool, we are absolutely crushing it right now. I hope I can share this positivity, good vibes with you in this video as we're going to get straight into it where we left off the last one, where together we were obviously looking at that harmonic where once again, this was harmonic identified. We're talking about days in advance, days in advance. We had identified the harmonic pattern which was obviously looking for the target around that daily 20,220. The last video that I done was on the 27th. We were talking about this. Of course, I posted it first in my group on the 23rd. But from here, we obviously know what happened next. We rose up to the daily target and we obviously ended up hitting that really perfectly, which gave us this high on the 27th of September. So when I gave the last video, I was talking about how that we had the potential bar patterns, which is, is this large move to the upside, hitting targets, really quick move back down. E.g. it looks like a Bart Simpson head, right? This is your Bart pattern. We were definitely aware of that. And the confluence that we had was, of course, Bitcoin was rising to that daily target, 20,220, and it hit the target. And at the same time, simultaneously, well, actually slightly before, the ES started to drop heavily and make new lows. So with the ES dropping heavily and making new lows, while Bitcoin was hitting its harmonic target that we had, well, we all know what that means next for Bitcoin, right? Large red candle to the downside. For me, this was an opportunity for that short position. And during the whole of the 27th, I just said to my team, right, we've got that short, ES is weak, Bitcoin's hit targets, let's stay short and chill now on Bitcoin, and I will alert you when I feel like there is a good long showing, because for now there is none, we've got to remain patient, we've got to remain looking for lower, and I know not only myself got into that really nice short trade, but I see over here on Twitter, I see over in the Discord, a lot of other people saying the harmonic target hit, daily rejection, all of the information was given even for myself for free in the public videos, but just to highlight what we had going on there, everything coming together nicely, and yeah, a lot of people able to generate those short positions, which I truly, really did like to see. It made me very happy, man. Indeed, people are listening to the information I'm giving. So that's very nice for myself. And from that, we obviously made our way down. And it was actually to that daily level. And please go back and check the videos. Go back and check my information. This daily is a level that we had marked out from the highs once more. So this is no surprise. That daily was marked on the charts $18,448. Ladies and gentlemen, this was a daily. You can see even here, here, after taking that short position, seeing the weakness, we had hit the targets. I said my target of the short trade is the range point of control. Okay, this was our range point of control. In the end, we obviously hit that as a take profit one and come down to hit the daily. But you could just want to emphasize here that this daily here you can see marked out. Check the timestamps. Check when I'm posting it in my group. Okay, back on the 27th, this is posted in the time. I'm saying, you know, my target for the take profit one is this point of control but we have the lower level of the daily. Please just look at this one final time, 18448, marked out in advance as a level that we are aware of. This is what happened. We came down and we hit it absolutely perfectly, right? We hit it absolutely perfectly. We're talking about $2 off. Like this is just, oof, this is really big, what you call perfection, right? So it's perfection. What happened off of that? We hit our daily level and we got a rise to the upside. And given from that rise to the upside, where did we come up to? We actually came up into the CC, okay? So we come up into the CC levels. Let me just mark this out for you. For the Fibonacci from the high to the low, and I will just put on our template of the CC. You can see how we come up right into that CC for the rejection. Ladies and gentlemen, what happened next? Fibonacci from low to high. What happened next? We came into the reverse CC. Let me just take off this magnet tool so you can just see this absolutely brilliantly a second. Come into that CC. And what happened on this? We had absolutely crazy big 
bullish CVD divergences. Just look how big these bullish CVD divergences were. Crazy, crazy, really big bullish CVD divergences, okay? So I'm just showing you how we've absolutely predicted highs off of the original harmonic, lows off of the daily, high off of the CC, low off the CC with really big bullish CVD divergences. And for me, this was just like crazy. Obviously, we hit the take profit one off the short trade when we hit the point of control. In the end, made our way down to the daily with the perfect bounce off the daily. Then what happens? The CC levels are so strong. We're looking for the rejection off the CC. What happened? We rejected off the CC. What happened next? We came down to the next CC, which gave us, yes, ladies and gentlemen, our next target, which was this harmonic. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I identified this harmonic live in the time and gave it to my group yesterday. Okay, we had that harmonic target. I said to my team really clearly, and this is what people want. They want clarity. They want someone to be clear, giving, you know, help here. And this is exactly what I've done with the educational side of things. I said, right now, for me, I'm remaining bullish locally on Bitcoin and I am expecting higher. I'm expecting higher on Bitcoin and I'm looking for my harmonics. Okay. This harmonic gave the target of just over $20,000, just over $20,000 giving us this harmonic. Okay. You can see here, please, ladies and gentlemen, understand this is given in advance, live in the time, ready and waiting for the people, well, for the champions inside the discord. We had that harmonic I was remaining bullish. I'm looking for higher. Ladies and gentlemen, what happened next? Well, let's add on that harmonic, shall we? And here we go. We can see from the prediction, we all know why every single high and low was put in next. We knew we were bullish. We knew we were looking for higher. Bam, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We hit the target of the harmonic, and we've obviously now seen a local pullback to test around the daily open. This gives us an absolute perfect, what I'm just referring to as absolutely perfect scenario here. I actually want to show you one more thing because we had one other level of confluence of what happened in the day. And again, I'm always explaining this to my team. Okay, we actually had really nice uh, CCV targets. Okay, you see this. We had a swing failure pattern last night, dropped to test the point of control perfectly before another rise to the upside to give bearish CVD. Just, I'm going to explain this here. We had this swing failure pattern of this last high. We dropped to test the previous day point of control. We got a retest of that high with bearish CVD divergences before this before this final drop to the downside, which hit the, the, hit the currently was the bearish CCV setup target of the day, daily open, previous day value area low. This was testing that previous day value area low in confluence with the CC, ladies and gentlemen. This is just absolutely crazy when you understand, when you truly understand the material that I give you, when you truly understand and appreciate everything that you need to know right now is taught by chart champions. All of the theory that we're teaching you is in play right now. That is CCV setups from bearish CVD divergences into CCV target into the CC. When I'm overall expecting higher for the harmonic, this was the this was your entry, right? This was your entry. You got that rise to the upside. You hit the target of the harmonic. So what are we looking for next? I truly hope that I've explained really well to you exactly what's happened here. If you appreciate that information, hit that like button. Hit that like button right now. It really gives a good way of gauging with people like these videos what they're looking for next. Like. Just, yeah, just give a like, give a comment down below. Let me know your feedback. Let me know your thoughts because I am making these videos for you. I'm making this video for you right now so you can truly understand and share the passion. Like, I love this. I truly, truly, truly love what I'm doing. Like, so if I can share with you, show you what's possible, show you what we're looking at ahead of time and then showing you like the, 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 the you know, the, 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 uh, what they're looking for here, the predictions that we're doing are like, aging perfectly. If you know what you're doing and you understand what we're teaching, it's, it truly is just powerful. You can see the results from other people. What was that comment that I saw the other day? We saw a really nice, I can't remember what comment it was, but anyway, overall, I'm just yeah, very pleased. And oh yeah, shout out to Eagle, by the way, that literally guy made $10,000 in two days off his live trading account. But we'll talk about that in a bit. So yeah, I've talked you through that. I'm going to talk you through now what I'm looking for next. So uh, really simply then, uh, we currently, well, we've obviously rejected off of our harmonic target. So there's a few options that I'm going to be looking for next. Currently, we're basically in a range, right? We've got daily resistance and we've got daily support down here. I'm going to remove this CC because we've now tested it. So we've got daily resistance, daily support. We are currently range bound. We are definitely range bound right now. We have the a few different options, right? The more times we test the level, the weaker it gets, be it resistance or be it support. What we can actually do on here is remove this harmonic now because this for me has hit target. Okay, we do have the option of D expanding up here. Okay, let me just show you. This is obviously a really valid trade. And if you took that short position, that's you know brilliant. You can literally have your stop loss at entry. Um, but what you do have is like an extension of the D, which is possible, which gives this uh, move to the upside. What, what I'd be looking at here is putting on this lovely channel that I've found. Okay, 
See this lovely, lovely, lovely channel? Okay, so if we're looking for another rise to the upside, that will mean breaking out of the daily and moving up towards the top of that parallel channel. Okay, we can be looking for 26, 2800, giving us the next potential high here, taking out our series of highs off of our previous harmonic, right? Basically, we've gone from harmonic into harmonic. I, I, I love it when it does that because it's all based off of Fibonacci and Fibonacci time. Oh, actually, you want to see a really good post that I've done today? <laughs> if you weren't already impressed enough, uh, I made this post this morning here. There we go. Uh, when I, I recognized that harmonic, right? I even said to my team this morning, we have 24 hours to hit the harmonic target and then full speed ahead, CC Paul, full speed ahead. Like just recognize I'm also identifying the time limits of this. I'm saying we, I'm bullish. I'm looking for higher. And we've even got the time of when it's going to happen within 24 hours. Like, oh, oh. Yeah, that's good, ladies. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Like even recognizing the time of when it was going to happen, and then it obviously happened within a few hours. This was, yeah, this, yeah, that, that, that was a really good call. When you understand Fibonacci time, when you understand what I'm doing here to even know when it was going to hit, oh, yeah, that, that 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 was a good call. <laughs> anyway, moving on. That leaves us into the range, right? That leads us into this range. So we've got our local support to the downside, which I will now show you here. Have a guess what we can do. We can put another CC, right? Uh, we have the local support to the downside. Yeah, around $19,000. So I'm going to be looking really for around $19,000 as our local support. Look at this. We got this really nice. Yeah, around 19, just under $19,000. Currently, of course, we've back tested our pre our, our value area high resistance into support currently. So we got, a, you know, there's obviously always a few different levels of support and different levels of resistance. If we get acceptance into value area high, guess what? We can look down to 19K. And if we lose that value area low, and if we lose that daily level to level trading, this is what I teach. This is what we practice every single day at Chart Champions. Okay. It's really not hard when you understand the theory. But for me now, we're range bound. I obviously recognize we've just rejected from the range high. If we hold value area high, then we can look back up to the top of this parallel channel. If we get acceptance into value area high, then I'm looking down to the point of control. Lose that, I'm looking down to the daily. For me, it really is as simple as that. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope I have not made this too confusing. I can go very, very, very complex in my trading, right? I can go very complex in my trading. But what I hope to have done here is just kept this very simple. Not, you know, it's not too, too, too simple, but I'm just, oh, confluence galore, confluence galore. Uh, I've not made it too confusing. I've tried to keep it as simple as possible. I've I've tried to show you, you know, everything that I've done here was all called in advance. There's no hindsight here. Everything that I've talked about was posted first in the champions group of the Discord. Again, if you want access to those calls before they've happened, such as this harmonic, such as the time of when it's going to hit, you can come over to chartchampions.com. And of course, from chartchampions.com, you can start over here with either the contenders, which is for just the theory and education, or the champions, which gives you all of the theory education and access to the live trading streams that we're doing, as well as the live trading channels that we've got within Discord. So if you want the live trading, that's for the champions. If you want the theory, that's for contenders. We've got all of what you need, daily live streams, live trading streams, all of the education, and there's more coming out every single day. So yeah, that's chartchampions.com if you want to see that, if you want access to these predictions. And uh, yeah, if you want to know really what I'm looking for next in the time, when we sort of lose or gain levels, then you can get this over in the Discord. So yeah, that's me signing out. <laughs> I guess I'll give a final shout out to the legend Igor, seeing as he has been absolutely killing it absolutely killing it recently with his live trading streams uh look at this guy is is Igor is is Igor human this guy is something else every time i see him trade or post it is incredible um uh, yeah i mean I'm, I'm gonna just agree with that i i uh, i question is Igor or is Igor a human or is he a whale leave your comments down below i think he's a whale uh, <laughs> uh i'm gonna wrap it up with that i'm just gonna say thank you ever so much everybody if you've enjoyed you know what to do hit that like button hit the subscribe and catch us over on the website for more information cheers everybody thank you and that's me signing out full speed ahead cc Paul send their regards cheers everybody and one final reminder no financial advice just a demo educational accounts only just for educational entertainment video only no financial advice important legal trade disclaimer cheers everybody thank you and that's me signing out goodbye